Meet John. John has been diligently carving furniture for $30,000 a year. He is just about to put the finishing touches on an exquisite armoire when his boss approaches him and says he's giving him a 5% raise. A 5% raise? That's $1,500. John is elated and about to thank his boss when he realizes that having his salary raised this amount of money will place him in a higher tax bracket, which will raise his federal income taxes to the point where he will actually be making less money because of the raise. John's thinking is incredibly wrong. He doesn't understand how the progressive tax code really works. John thought he was paying 15% of $30,000, or $4,500 every year in federal income taxes. However, he was really only paying 10% on the first $10,000, which is $1,000, and 15% on the next $20,000, which is $3,000, giving him a total of $4,000 in federal income taxes. You only need to pay the higher rate for any income above the threshold in question, not on everything. Now let's see what John's federal income taxes will look like after his raise. With a 5% raise of $1,500 to a grand total of $31,500, John thinks that he will need to pay 25% of his total salary in taxes, or $7,875. But in actuality, he will only be taxed 25% on the amount of money above the $30,000 threshold which the raise gives him. Thus, John will only have to pay $375 more in taxes after his promotion, not the $3,875 he believed he would owe from going up a tax bracket. These aren't the only taxes Americans pay. State and local income taxes, sales tax, social security tax, property tax, and Medicare tax are just a few of the many taxes citizens are required to pay. There are additional amounts taken out of paychecks for retirement, health care, and various other benefits or costs associated with their jobs, which certainly have the effect in some cases of a paycheck being smaller after a raise. But that isn't because of federal taxes or the federal government. In fact, because of the progressive nature of the federal tax code, it is impossible to make less money because of your federal taxes after moving to a higher tax bracket. So, next time you get a raise, you will now know that a higher tax bracket doesn't mean you're losing money at all. <laughs>